Yeah, I thought I might. Okay, so the company I chose was Vic. Just a little bit about the company. Vic's founder, Marcel Vic, developed their first ever product, the Crystal Ball Point 10, in 1950. And Stationery is one of their top selling products with the ballpoint pen and gel, etc. Along with other stationary products and lighters and shavers. Vic is committed to reducing its carbon and environmental footprint while also having a strong ethics program that they've developed over like the past few years. And my product is going to be a four-in-one pen, which takes the top four, the top four selling pens and combines them all into one. The SWOT analysis about it. Our strengths, we have dedicated customers that tend to only use big pens, and the supplies needed are already in the factories. We just have to kind of put them together in a new component. Weaknesses are the consumers might not like the component because it's so similar to the four-color pen that Bic already has. And consumers might not want to change to this new type of product that's kind of out of the box for us. Opportunities, um, we're taking already loved products and putting them all into one for a lower price. And we can also excite our current customers, which can bring in new customers like artists or bookkeepers or college students. A few of the threats, um, Vix Competition Paper Mate also has a color switching pen that they could take and then just kind of implement their own pens into the same idea. And the reason for this product is to give consumers a way to test the most popular pen types for only $3.99. And they can choose one or the other, buy them individually, or they can just continue buying the four-in-one pen once it runs out. So a little explanation about it. It includes a ballpoint, a quick dry gel, a roller glide pen, and an extra bullet ballpoint. Each pen type has a different tip besides the two ballpoint pens, which are the same. And this actually is like a stainless steel component, which ties back to one of our concerns of being environmentally friendly. And this allows us to be more sustainable, and they, they also sell, will also sell refills that you can't buy and just put into your pen on your own. And they plan on targeting college students with this new product. And some, like someone on the go with plenty of goals to accomplish, which include drawing or writing or anything like that. Places we would sell would be art supply stores like Michaels and Joanne, um, supermarkets, Walmart, Target, Amazon, and Vic's own website. We would start mild and just kind of distribute it among the United States and just kind of see how it goes. And then we would turn that into worldwide distribution, selling on Amazon and Big Song website. And for pricing, we'll sell it for $3.99, which is the same price as the four color pens. And it will allow us to make a pretty good profit off of it while also selling the refillable inserts. So the number one competitor is PaperMate. And obviously they can take this new product and completely make it their own by maybe finding ways to improve it, make it better, make it easier for the consumers to use. Which in turn will cause them to steal kind of, will steal our customers. But Vic has a competitive advantage because in 2006, they were awarded as the most popular pen and writing utensil company. And with the ink and the pen tips that we use, we're definitely more popular than PaperMate and more well known. And the way we would sell it is we would start with PR, which actually we would send it out to people who want it, like popular influencers, celebrities, whatever, and they can take it and promote it in their own way. We would also use social media, obviously just post about it, and maybe do like, you get 10% off of your first order of this if you're the first five people to share it with your friends or something like that. And product placement, we will have stores place, place the products in noticeable places as well as paying for advertising, so kind of signs and posters, like, and having it displayed near, having it displayed near the aisle in the section that pens are in. We will implement this product and we plan to announce it in the spring, around tax season. And it'll take about like eight months to mass produce. 
and it, it will be a permanent product. And some limitations and difficulties will include, include production hiccups, um, competitors kind of taking it and making it their own. It might be harder to produce than we think because we are using a stainless steel barrel, so it might be different. And if consumers do not like do not like the component, we'll have to redesign it and make it completely different, just so they do notice that it is a different product and not like our four-in-one pen. Uh, 